Hi there. I'm having a lovely day today of filming and doing art. So I'm going to do another spread in my Story Girl book. Um, I've been really enjoying this project. Though I haven't done something every week, I've been doing it here and there and I just like the way it's growing now and I'll be able to look back on it. It's been such a tough year last year. So when did I start it? I started it. Cool. On the 22nd of March, oops, 22nd of March, 2020. I'm wondering if it will be, maybe I'll finish it. But by the, by the 22nd of March this year, but I'm not going to put pressure on myself at all. It finishes when it finishes. But I'm going to do another spread today. And I'm going to film it for you. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I made this following uh, my friend and artist, Jill. And, oops, I'll put a link to her wonderful video where she uses fountain pens and water to create beautiful faces that she creates. And I sort of used that, and then I put a bit of gesso in as well, and I, I made this face. So my plan for today is to make a little secret compartment, a bit like this one, which we made. But I thought that was a little bit messy, so I've got an idea to make it a bit neater. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark evenly spaced places to and punch holes and then use a thinner ribbon. That's the plan. But what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll cut this one down and this is going to be like a little insert into there and I'll gesso over here and on the back I will write my intentions and wishes for 2021 and I know I'm a bit late doing this but so what those were my main ones anyway but I might be a bit more specific and a bit more private with these ones so yeah I probably won't show you haha <laughs> but I'll show you what I do and it'll go in here and I just gessoed this out and left the word possibility. Oh, come on. There you go. Possibility. Because there is always possibility in the unknown and in all this uncertainty. Um, I try and change the word now. I don't say uncertainty. I say possibility. It feels nicer. And it's the same thing. So, without further ado, I'll get on and I'll I'll come back to the next bit. <laughs> so I've got this right up here so I could get it in focus um, but anyway I looked through this back of this page and I found the word intention and so now I'm going to gesso everything out apart from that word so now the gesso I'm using is this it's a coloured gesso Victoria Pink and it's made by oh, Derry Van Matisse. I'd never heard of it before I just found it in my local um, art shop and I just love it I just love the color and the coverage is very good too so that's why I'm using it what I do is quite lazy I put a blob on here and I spread it out I don't know if that's the proper way of doing it um, it's probably a lazy way of doing it but 
it's a way of doing it. And since this is my journal, my art, and this is how I'm doing it. So I removed the excess paint and I used it in another journal, I uh, hate wasting it you see, and finished painting this over and you've got the word intention at the bottom. So I'm now going to be very patient and wait for this to dry, um, you don't have to because I'll stop the video. Um, so this is dried now and She's ready to go into the book. I'm going to write on there later on. So, there he is. She goes in there. Ooh, just about fits. And then I'm going to sew up. I found this bit of thread that I'd been saving from somewhere or other. I don't know how I'm going to thread it. I'm going to try. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's okay. And then I'm just going to thread through. Like so. Let's see. How much should we leave? A little bit. See, I'm even doing sewing in my books now. <laughs> I'm very into slow stitching. So it's twisted there, but I quite like that, so I'm going to leave it. Actually, I don't like it now. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Anyway, look, I'm going to twist it round like that, and then I'm going to twist this one round. Because it actually looks nicer when it's flat, doesn't it? You can see the frilly edges. So, such a fickle person. Yeah. And there's a lip. Oop, there. Nice. Oh no, look. Easily fixed though. Easily, easily fixed. Like that. But you'll be able to choose whatever ribbon you want on yours if you do it. And there it is. So I'll just cut this end off. I'll have a bit dangling because I quite like that. And it will help me when I have to thread and unthread it. And so, there you have it, a little, a little secret pocket. And now I'm ready for my next spread. And I've already, have I? Yes, I've already stuck these pages together, so I'm thinking what I need to do is give it a coat of gesso, or shall I just draw on it? Oh, decisions. Oh, I think I might just draw on this straight off and then fill in later and see what we see. So I'm just eager to do a bit of drawing so I'll switch off for now and then I'll come back when I'm set up to do drawing and we shall continue okay so I'm all ready now I've got my pencils and rubbers and bits and pieces um, I found a couple of phrases in here that I like the look of tell the truth and time for grief these may or may not stay as my picture progresses I think I'm starting off with a face that's what I'm going to do to start with and and then what I might do is I might do one of those neurographic things with squiggly lines and and then fill it in who knows um so I just wanted to say that my face is a very much inspired um and influenced and instructed even by golf sprite she is my teacher 
and I've followed her for years now. Um, I love her style and she is a very good teacher. I've seen people in my group that art has blossomed and I do feel that although I'm still a beginner, I do feel that my art has definitely improved since I've been following her and doing her classes and, and watching her um, videos. So I would just say, go and check her out. I'll put the details at the bottom. And um, yes, highly recommended. And you'll see, um, probably I see it more than other people. I don't know, actually. But I think um, my art looks quite like hers. Obviously, not as good. But it's definite influence there. But anyway, um, I'll do the rest of this in a speed video and so otherwise you'll get so bored but um, here goes. So I'm starting to see a picture emerging now. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of shading using my paper stump. Um, so the light is coming from this direction. So this will be darker this side of the face. I guess. gesso this text out. I found another word I liked which was shadow um, but I'm going to gesso this out and I might go over this with liner pen so that I can make this a, um, a neurographic thing where you, where you smooth out the crosses and then I think 
I'll think about colouring and putting adding colour to it. So I'll come back when I've done that because otherwise this is going to be really long this video. So um, you'll see what I've done when I've done it so I don't want to make this too long. Um, so I'll see you in the blink of an eye for you but who knows how long for me. So I've put the white gesso background in and as I was doing it I thought yes I really do want that background. It's funny isn't it you sort of you have an idea of what you want and you don't really know till you see it so anyway um, and then I have neographicked her hair if you like it's a technique where you round off the edges and if you don't know what neographics means just google it or yeah put it into YouTube because there's lots of people have been doing it and um, I've having a go at it so I've done that through her hair um, now what I plan to do is to use my neo colors to do the rest and I just picked up colors that I was attracted to and I ended up with this lot <laughs> quite a lot actually these I'm thinking her hair can be oranges and yellows and then the rest can come in somehow maybe on her face and top. all um, filled in with neo colours and water painted in um, and I did a face using neo colours as well I'm actually waiting for it to dry at the moment because um, I think it needs a bit more shading but at the moment it's so wet it's going to ruin it if I put other colours in they're just going to splurge so I'm waiting for it to dry and looking at the picture I'm thinking hmm what else do I want to do with it? And I'm thinking that I'm going to follow this neurographic theme. I'm going to put lines through the gesso and maybe through her hair even. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll go behind her hair. Or maybe, mm, I don't know. Because I'm feeling that the, the image the message is that grief kind of traps us and um, it's difficult. So I'm thinking because with the new uh, neurographics, it's about um, solving problems. So you smooth off the straight lines and it helps you resolve the problem. So I'm thinking I'm going to put straight lines in to represent being trapped by grief and then I'm going to smooth them off so um, the thing I'm hesitating about is I don't like the idea of putting lines across the picture that I've just drawn I'm such a scaredy cat um, but um, if I'm going to be bold then I'm going to make this picture say something and I'm going to do that maybe I will Maybe I won't, but I'll come back in a minute when I've done it. Um, and along the bottom, I feel there should be something. So maybe I can use that for journaling. Or I could collage something in. So not sure, but we'll see. So I was bold in the end and I did the lines, like the cage, 
and the idea is that her hair is sort of flowing out of it so she's coming out of it um, she looks quite sad doesn't she uh, so now I'm just going to put a few I love this um, I love coming in with a um, the white charcoal pencil and putting in the fine highlights because you can put them in and smudge them so I'm going to go right into her whites of her eyes brighten those up quite a bit and I guess the idea is that it's um the light is coming this isn't it's gone kind of weird it's gone kind of hard there we go that's better must be something to do with the surface as always materials have flummoxed me and it's not quite doing what I want it to do but it doesn't matter it's only a subtle thing if I wanted to I could come in with um, white acrylic ink but I don't want to so I'm not going to <laughs> Okay, well, here she is. Put a bit of colour in her cheeks as well. That was using um, the Neo Colours. And so that's, that's it. That's her finish now. And uh, another page. In the end, I just put some washi tape on the bottom just to finish it off. And you can see that I've rounded off the edges here, which is the Neo Graphic thing looks quite nice actually so I'm quite pleased and that's the spread finished I uh, hope you've enjoyed it and um, do give a link to your work if you do things or um, just say hello and you can find me on Instagram beautifully altered um, so yeah hope you're having a great weekend and uh, see you again bye for now take care